you can find an exclusive Tektronix display referred to as Luma Qualified Vector, or LQV, in the settings for the vector scope display. It allows you to display a specific tonal range in the vector scope. I have it set just for the highlights or just for the shadows. This makes it much easier to find a good white or black point to color balance. The other important displays that only Tektronix has are gamut displays. The diamond and split diamond displays may look a little foreign, but these are gaining greater acceptance for balancing footage and color correction and camera setup. The basics of the diamond are that the blacks are in the middle of the display where the diamonds join. Whites are at the other end of the diamonds. If the image is balanced, it basically runs right up the middle of the diamonds like a straight line. It's easy to see as I make a gamma adjustment or pull out all of the chroma saturation. The spearhead display plots lightness, monochrome RGB, in the vertical axis on the left side of the triangle. Saturation from the left to right on the top upper diagonal of the triangle and value on the lower diagonal of the triangle. The spearhead is another gamut display that helps with compliance to broadcast specs and with creative color correction. The spearhead is a great complement to the vector scope. Imagine color space described as two cones, brightness to the top of one cone and darkness to the bottom of the other. This is what HSL color space looks like in three dimensions more saturated towards the edges, less saturated in the middle, and hues around the edges. Combined, the spearhead and the vector scope provide a great three-dimensional view of the color space. It's important to see these side by side because a vector scope doesn't really show saturation in isolation. The trace on the vector scope shows you how far towards the edge it is can be driven by saturation or value or both. The spearhead shows you the difference that the vector scope alone can't.